on Monday after the show. So this is when the show is going to air. So for those of you, let me see real quick who is on Facebook Live. I, Did no you see one, Jenny? Jay, Jenny, Jay, she's saying, Jason, you are the bomb diggity. I think that's what she <laughs> said. And uh, Joelle said, hi, Jenny. So they all know each other. Nell said, hi, Jenny. Oh, my gosh. Know. Everybody knows Jenny. Jenny, I love you already. Okay, so everyone should see Jason Stevenson, of course, everybody. And so we already have your wonderful people. People are watching. Let us know where you're watching from. Send us some love. And so that you know, this is a radio show, and we're about to begin the radio show when Robert gives us the okay. So whenever you're ready, we are ready to begin. They're going to mute us. The Lillian McDermott Show. We love, we fear. Bridges we burn. We make mistakes. Then we live and learn. When life gets tough. And it seems like your best ain't good enough. If you're in need of hope, you know where I'll be. I'll be right here. Right here, and when you need a friend, you can count on me. I'll be right here, right here, waiting for you. This is the place you can always turn to when you need a friend. The Lillian McDermott Show. To reach out to Lillian, visit her on the web at whenyouneedafriend.com. Now let's all learn together. Here's Lillian McDermott. Hello, my listening friend. It's so nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who have been listening to the Lillian McDermott radio show for the last seven and a half years, or maybe you just heard us for the first time yesterday, welcome back. I am so excited that you are with us, growing with us. But if this is the first time that you've tuned in to watch the show or at Facebook Live, we're at Facebook Live, you can watch us there or on the radio or on YouTube later on after the show is done and uploaded, just know I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for, yes, you. And just know this is a safe place where you can go to when you need a friend. It is my commitment to provide alternative ways to heal. And it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening, as well as my viewing friends, will feel empowered to embrace a new truth and live the life of your dreams. And so for those of you who would like to... Um, add to what we're talking about today, you're always welcome to text me at 407-373-5959 or call. I don't answer the phone while we're on, I'm on the air. Or you can join us on facebook.com forward slash Lillian's Radio Show. Share it with all your friends. Tell all your friends that we are live on. We're doing a pre-recorded show and we are live today um, so that we can be a part of this broadcast, which Jason and I have been talking about this for a while. How can we bring him up live and bring him to the United States without flying him over here without all the expense? So today we're talking about the views of ourself. You know, Jason is really good and Jason Stevenson is who I'm talking about and I'll introduce him to you in a little bit. But um, we've been talking about how our thoughts become our reality, our perceptions, everything that has to do with our thoughts. Our thoughts convert into feelings and our feelings convert into actions. So last time Jason was on the show, Meditation Monday, um, it, we talked about the positive affirmations. We're always thinking about what could go wrong, everything negative, but we need to be an equal opportunity positive thinker. If you're going to think about what could go wrong, let's think about what could go right. And so Jason went, yeah, might, I'm going to do that with you. Was that a horrible impression of you, Jason? Okay. So I, in comes for the last 15 years, Jason Stevenson, who has become a dear friend now from afar, my virtual friend. Someday I'm looking forward to giving him a hug. 
And so we talked about how it's so important that we send these positive affirmations. And so since it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am grateful that Jason Stevenson, who has all this meditation uh, out there and YouTube, and now he's doing Facebook and all these, and, and you can find him at Life Expansion. Uh, you can find him on Jason Steven Meditation. He has over a million followers and a lot of adoring fans on Facebook Live at Lillian's Radio Show. And since it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am grateful that Jason Stevenson is here to do just that. Welcome to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, Jason. Thank you very much, Lillian. And as always, it's absolute pleasure to be here and to be with you and also to be with all the Facebook followers. And there's a lot going on my screen at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little distraction, eh? Don't look until we're on our break. You can't look there. Don't look at the light. Stay away from <laughs> it. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to talk about the I am. And I know that we've talked about, well, whatever we talk about privately is privately, but we've talked about on the air about, you know, some of our past traumas, some mm -hmm. of the things that have happened to us that we could, you know, have them over and over and over in our life and in our mind, and we can live them and relive them. So tell a little bit about you and your experience with affirmations and the importance they are for you. Mm. Well, for some of you, for many of you that might not know my story, um, basically in my 20s, um, you know, I've, I've come from a beautiful, loving family and I've been surrounded by love and that's helped me to, to get through a lot of this. But uh, in my 20s, I went off the rails. My career, uh, I, was, I was doing a lot of singing and acting and it was sort of beginning to, it began to crumble. And so for me to cope with that, I was ended up... Uh, taking drugs and alcohol and I think I was chasing to get that feeling of being high the high I used to get from performing on stage and so I found that falsely through through a lot of drugs and alcohol and mm -hmm. I went right off the white rails and so so much so that I was uh, ended up being diagnosed as HIV positive I um yeah, I, that happened, and then I converted that into something else, and I even started, so... In that, I know, but you can keep talking, you can keep I can keep talking. talking? You can keep talking, yes, it's when we get muted at the beginning. Oh, okay, <laughs> and, so, and so basically I changed that HIV diagnosis into something positive, a positive mindset for me, fear and vitality. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to continue our conversation with Jason Stevenson when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com and at Lillian's Radio Show Facebook Live. We're going to, and we'll be right here waiting for you. I'll be right here, right here waiting for you. Okay, Jason. So during this break, I just want to let you know that you sleep with a lot of women. I'm telling you right now, Alexander says she can't fall asleep without you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you think I was going to say, have you been spying on me? <laughs> I hear that so often. Oh, I, and apparently a lot of men too, believe it or not. Seriously. Yes, I, I hear, I hear it goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, that's just me being funny. I have not heard anything. <laughs> yes, seriously, though, I've, I've, I've met so many people that says, you have no idea that my husband and I have been sleeping with you <laughs> night after night for two years or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so I just want you to know that there's so many people that are, uh, adore you and they're laughing with us, they're dancing with us, and I'm so excited about this. Tell me, let me know where you're from, where you're watching today, um, and... Just so that you know, for those of you who are on Facebook Live, um, I cannot, I haven't figured out how I can read everything. Maybe one of you can tell me, but I can only see four messages at a time. And so mm -hmm. if there's somebody out there that can teach me how to open this, uh, let me see. Uh, let me, maybe I'll I, click on I find it. it best to look at it on my phone because the comments move up on the phone. 
Ah, okay. Uh, whereas yeah. uh, on the screen, they don't, they get seem to get locked in and you've got to move them up yourself. That, okay, so that's what. So everybody is uh, loving you. So Jenny sleeps with you every night. So I just want you to know that I hope, Jason, that her earphones have a lot of protection. <laughs> <laughs> okay every night everybody's sleeping with you okay and i must confess i sleep with you too jason <laughs> okay and i want to share with all of you what a kind man this is so i come home one day and there's this cute little box during the holidays and here it is it says i open it up there was no note there was no nothing in there and it was this gift and it says love jay and dharma and i said I wonder if this is, what, what is this? And I open it up and it's this beautiful, you know, cushion in there. I don't know if you can see this. For those of you, I'm just sharing this story. Oh, you're watching from Ireland. Welcome. And the Netherlands in hey, Missouri. Joelle. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. This is great. And no, Winnipeg, need- Canada. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at you, Jason. Look at how much you have impacted the world. Okay. So oh, finally, there's some beautiful people there. Yeah. And so finally, I look at the watch. I take the watch off and there's no card in it. And I'm looking all around. It It just says love Jay and Dharma. And I'm thinking, I'm not Jay and I'm not Dharma. So who is Jay and Dharma? And so I put it on for the first time because there's something beautiful about this watch. So look at this. It's made with all, it's wood. And and I I put it on finally, I turned it around and it says, and so I'm going to have to, um, look at my, my light here. Cause uh, it says there, this is our moment, or this is, this is the moment. And it says, this thank you. Moment. Yep. It says, thank you for your support in peace, Jason. And I'm telling you, I melted. I just, isn't this a great story for those of you who are following on Facebook? Isn't this a nice, a nice man who you don't have to be on here. You don't need to be on my show. But it's so sweet. And so it came with these beautiful beads. Tell us the story about how, did, where, where does this? Oh, my friend, my friend has, has a company that actually creates them. And uh, when I, when he first showed me, I says, oh my goodness, I need to, to get those, you know, to people that are like yourself, you know, people that have supported the, my company and my vision and helped me to grow. Well, I mean, I, I wanted, you. believe me, I wanted to get it for everyone. I wanted to get it for so many people, but obviously I couldn't, but, but, but you got one. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, so no. thank you so much, Jason. And I didn't know when he said, I said, well, who's Dharma? And guess who Dharma, who can guess who Dharma is? Who can they, guess who Dharma is on they Facebook? Know. Do they know who Dharma is? Oh, Let's yes. See, who's the first one who's going to guess who Dharma is? <laughs> oh yes they're saying you're wonderful so nell is saying you're wonderful joelle she says i would be happy with the box <laughs> well yes that's my box okay so <laughs> jason's dog joe uh, jolie is that how you pronounce jo- your name uh joelle? thank you yeah jo- is it joe okay joe jolie i think it's jolie or is it joelle oh, i, I might have it wrong. we pop Bye, in everybody <laughs> you have such a wonderful but it looks like we're ready to go back on the air now remember we are live on the air while we're doing live on the air i just cannot read i need to maybe open my um my phone that's what i'll do i'll just open my phone and i'll put it on facebook okay so they're gonna mute our mics in a little second and then we dance and i want everybody to dance with us ready jason yes Yes. You can text Lillian McDermott or leave her a voicemail at 407-373-5959. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today's teacher is none other than Cutie Pie, Jason Stevenson, who is just such a nice man inside and out. He had me at Hello the first day I met him, and I am just so honored that he is a part of this Meditation Monday that we are doing once a month. Jason has uh, made a commitment 
you know, as long as we can do this, because I'm not going to hold him to the fire if he can't do it one day or whatever. But he is such a generous man, and I'm just so grateful. And maybe we can bring you over to the United States so that you can spread your your lucky charm all over us. Uh, so, so I wanted to, Jason, thank you. I, I wanted to go over the HIV and how we have the power and how we are in choice to decide how we're going to look at something that we could see that is horrible. Mm. So HIV, mm. how did you convert that? <laughs> mm. I think the, in all honesty, I have to give a lot of praise to the movie, The Secret, because when I was handed that DVD mm -hmm. and I played that over and over day and night because I went into such a dark, dark place, sure. a really hating on myself, uh, feeling shameful, feeling guilty, uh, all the worst, lowest vibrations of emotions that you could possibly imagine. So basically, I think I had to rebuild, rebuild myself. And so I did that through after recognizing affirmations and understanding how they were making me feel when I began to listen to them. Mm -hmm. I then was on the beach one day and I created my, I, I realized it was after about six months of watching the secret almost continuously. I was mm -hmm. on the beach and I realized something in me had changed and it was like, uh, here I am standing there in vitality here in vitality. And so in vitality. And so I used that, began to use that affirmation. And the more I used that affirmation, the stronger I became. Like, and, and I realized that, hey, I am healthy. I am alive. What, you know, this is what we can look at because, of course, the doctors, you know, when they're very serious, they're very, very serious, you know, that you've got this and we check your blood counts and this is this and, and that's not looking good. And, and that's really hard to overcome that stuff, let me tell you. That was such a battle. Uh, but when I went in there then, when they would mention HIV, and I, it triggered here in Vitality. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like sitting back. You can, you can talk about it all you like. You know, you can give me all these results day after day. And um, now it's just doesn't, it's nothing. You know, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's a tiny part of who I live with, what I live with. And, and I don't even recognize it. Um, I just live my life here, here in vitality. vitality. I love it. I love it. And so it is so crucial that we take a snapshot of what you just said, because so many of us get diagnosis and that becomes their life. That becomes their, I am, I mm. am diabetes. I am HIV. I mm. am you know, autistic, or I am not enough. And so those are the things that, that's why you and I chose this topic, the I am topic, because there's so many times that we say what we are afraid of. So you and I were talking about off the air that mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about the shadow side about the I am. The, 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 the I am's that we are giving ourselves, like I'm not enough, I am mm. stupid, I'm overweight, I'm fat, I'm ugly. Those are the I am's that we're constantly saying to ourselves. So mm -hmm. when you are listening to a doctor saying, you are HIV positive, you are possibly gonna ruin your life or this could be this or that, all you're hearing is, this can't be. And so at what point did you shift the, oh my God, I am HIV positive to I am here in vitality? When it was, it, it, Lillian, it took, it took a while. I'm telling you now, it probably took about, I would say, you know, nine months. Okay. Nine months to a year. Okay. And it, it was a gradual process. I mean, you know, initially I was so as I said, I lived with so much shame and guilt that I couldn't even go outside. I didn't want, I cut myself off from, from literally everything and everyone, including my, uh, that time I was teaching singing. I cut, I completely shut yes. everything down. I, it, it affected me so bad initially. And, uh, but then over the time of, of, you know, I was doing some Gerson therapy and I was doing bits and pieces and 
putting the putting all the good things into me began to change my ways and so it was a gradual holistic process of healing everything but mindset was the absolute uh the main thing that i had to heal yes it was the absolute yeah absolutely so so it, when i first started this journey if you would have told me that i was going to be about holistic functional integrative you know my registered mark service mark is you can take a pill or you can take a responsibility it's not that i am against taking pills you know that mm -hmm. it's that when you are doing things that are sabotaging you nothing nothing will trump thought you know because you know we have 70 we're okay so i i, I don't know if you and i have talked about this or but um, Bruce Lipton has been on my show, and this is when I learned this new truth, which is that from the moment we're born to the moment of seven years of age, we're human tape recorders. Absolutely. We are like in theta mode. We are recording everything, and I believe it, it's in our third eye, um, and, and, it's our, and our, that's where it's kept in our soul or wherever it is, and that later becomes our subconscious our mm -hmm. subconscious mind that says this is the repetitive the rep repetition absolutely so yep. 70,000 thoughts 90 percent of them are repetitive and 80 percent of those thoughts are negative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what would you like to add to that jason so what i would like to say to that is uh, you know that how can we change that that's right and we and we can change that mm -hmm. and, but it takes works first of all we have to be aware we have to become conscious of this of this programming, you know, because we can stay through our adult, our teenage and adult life, and and some adults do. Many adults still stay stay with that unconsciously, just reacting to this tape player that's going on in our head. Mm -hmm. But we can begin. I mean, uh, one of the first things that we need to do is check who we we are surrounding ourselves with as adults. Yeah. Are they? Are we hanging with a bunch of negative people that, that don't believe in us, that put us down? Because that's just going to continue the old programming and keep yes. confirming over and over and over again. So check who we're hanging with. And also then to begin to, and Joe Dispenza talks about this, I'm sure Bruce Lipton does too, but they mm -hmm. begin to be creators of our, of our life, begin to have visions use the visualization process to begin to um, to take that on board. And I don't know if you've heard the saying, I am that I am from mm -hmm. the Hebrew yeah. text. Yes. And I heard, I heard Wayne Dyer speaking about this the other day. And he said, when you say I am that I am, replace the word that with something that you want to manifest in your life. So okay. if it's a better relationship, I am that I am. And you can do that on the breath in, breathe in. I am that replacing that, the word that with whatever you want to manifest. So give us an relationship. example of what you want to manifest. I see myself already giving uh, talks in uh, around the world. And I'm and, right there with you. And med meditations and, and talks and yes. including singing with that as well, I might add. Yes. And, and I've, I see this and I know this is going to happen. And this is just, uh, this is, you know, waiting for that, the, the correct timing, but it, I know it's happening. I see mm -hmm. it. And so when I breathe that in, I am that, and I see myself on that magnificent stage in front of the people. And not only do I see it, I feel it. You feel it. And I feel it with every fiber of my being. Mm -hmm. And it takes me there. I can't, I get goosebumps now talking yeah, about it. I'm, I'm right there with you. And I know that everybody who's watching on Facebook Live is with you as well. And everybody who's listening on the radio and later on on YouTube, you know, we can change the world, but first it has to start within us. You know, people that want to change the world, but they don't want to change themselves. They want the world to change into what they want. But it's amazing the moment we change our perspective, the moment we stop changing, start changing the messages that we're sending ourselves, how the world does change. Mm -hmm. And can I just read this out? This is just a Wayne Dyer quote that I read okay. today on my, on my calendar here. Okay. And it says, you feel good not because the world is right, 
but your world is right because you feel good. That's right. Yeah. We yeah. are, we are the creators. We are the creators and we, and that's why I'm so adamant about this 100% responsibility because, you know, with this, I am, I am, you know, abused or I am a victim and I am, and those are disempowering. But if we can take over that and we can say, I am responsible, I am accountable and I am, it doesn't matter what has happened to me. But if I shift that and say it happened for me, look mm. at what HIV has Beautiful. done for you. What has Beautiful. HIV done for you, Jason? Mm. You, could have, you could have been in a fetal position crying for the rest of your life and everybody would have gone, oh, oh, Jason, you're all, you know. But then what well, would you have done? Well, to be honest, it was, when you think about it, it was a lifesaver for me because I was getting heavier into the drugs Mm. heavier and heavier and going it was a downward spiral something had to give way before things really got out of control then i might have been in such a mess you know goodness knows what could have happened yes it, so i say it gave me my life back i, I began to live again i began to live again and and want to give give back to the world instead of just i, I wasn't taking from the world all the time but in some aspects I was, you know, with the drugs and alcohol and it's that entitlement, Jason. It's the entitlement that we feel at times in our life that is fueled by our ego. Mm -hmm. But when you come face to face with something like that, then if you are true to yourself and you allow your essence to come through in gratitude and whatever it is, isn't life so much better? Mm -hmm. Even if nothing changes. Isn't life so much better? Absolutely, it's better to live, just to live and to wake up in that gratitude. And I went out for walking with Dharma, my dog today, and I looked up at the sky and just and felt this ex enormous expanse just wash over me. And I actually said, just mentally, I am. And it was like, wow, I can be who I want to be. I can be who I will be. It's, you know, we're not separate. Nothing is separate. Yes. It's raising that vibration and moving it. That's right. And so for those of you who are watching us on Facebook Live, I am so grateful for all your comments, your love, everything that's coming through on the radio. You can listen to our conversations. We're going to continue our conversation with Jason Stevens. Stevenson, and we can also go to whenyouneedafriend.com and listen there too, worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. I love that man. I just love him. And we're going to be right here waiting. Okay. I'll be right here, right here waiting for you. Sunshine, Little Rose Sunshine read my mind. I was going to ask all of you to tell me who you are. I'm going to ask people to text me, 407-373-5959 uh, if you're in the United States. Oh, hello, Portugal. Oh my gosh, I am prosperous. Jenny, I'm so glad I've been missing... You have a very active, loving uh, followers here. Oh, uh, they are such beautiful, awesome people, every one of them. I so yes. wish I could sometimes reach out and just hug every one of them. I know, I know, but I'm sure they feel your love, Jason. I do in my know? mind. And I hope yeah. they feel my love too, because I am thrilled. I am so excited to see all these hearts. And um, so, yes, 100%. Yeah, please forgive me. 100% accountability. Absolutely, Allie. Uh, Tony, Tony, thank you. I am. Yes, you are. And hi, Tony, yes. for you. And I love how everybody knows each other. You know, sometimes when you have a, a group, and it depends on what, like, I don't know if you've ever joined an HIV group. I don't know if you are uh, active in any of that. But sometimes these groups, nothing against the groups. And I think there's a place for everything. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. sometimes if, if there's one person who is bringing the whole group down, it just takes it, you know, to that, to, to the, let's, I am my disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then there's mm -hmm. groups like yours and hopefully the show where we can say, I am that I am, I am loving. And, you know, um, and I'd love to, for you to share your mantra. And I think we've shared this before off the air. Um, but my mantra is I am, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am love. Mm -hmm. That was a mantra that I heard uh, a while ago. And I said, I'm going to make that my mantra. But um, mm -hmm. I have one that came from my um, my journey, my transformation, just like you're transformed. Uh, mm -hmm. I too. And I think that all of us deserve a transformation. And so when we come back on the air, for those of you, I want to encourage you, for those of you who are watching today on Facebook Live, my viewing friends, I want to encourage you. That's right. That's like a little, ho the, what was it? Who is it? J uh, Bieber? Bieber? The Bieber? Oh. <laughs> 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 um, I want to encourage all of you to, uh, to subscribe and so that we can continue this conversation. Let's make our family larger uh, because this is where we take 100% ownership. And I want to uh, talk to you separately about when you go on to, because um, off the air, I do have sponsors, off the air sponsors that sponsor me on Facebook Live. And um, so I want to make note that if you live in the United States, um, there's a, um, a button that you can go to at whenyouneedafriend.com that's called um, First Alternative Care. First Alternative Care, this is the icon right up there. And First Alternative Care is telemedicine 24-7. I love them. It's $35 per household. So if you have grandparents in your household or if you have um, your nephew living with you or if you have adopted children, or that's a household. Or if you're in college and you have five uh, roommates, that's a household. $35 a month, you get 24-7 telemedicine. And you can click on when you need a friend.com and there's a video to let, tell you know, let you know about it. But I love it. I used it three times. And so, so did my husband. We used it like three times in one month and it, it's the same price, whether you use it or you don't use it, it's the same price every month. And so I'm really excited about first alternative care. Maybe we can get that in Australia, but it's well, that sounds time. great. Yeah. I'd like copays, you know, pe some people can't afford going to the doctor because of the copay. Well, this, is $35 a month, no matter what. And then the other one is Keep Me Safe Organics. It's 100% organic, no synthetic products. It's the makeup I wear. And so I want to encourage you to, oh, if you enter Lily, Lily 10, you get 10% off your entire purchase. And so there, everything that you don't like, you can re return. And so I align myself with like-mindedness, just like you were talking about earlier. And I, I was given this, I don't know if you see this, Jason, for the for Christmas, it was, was given to me by a listener. That's beautiful. It says, wow. oh, no, it's on top of it. It says, it's, it's on oh. top of it, the little, uh, it <laughs> says, your vibe attracts your tribe your vibe that says a lot. attracts your tribe mm -hmm. and i just want to encourage all of us to stay together like us and so i know that we're about to get ready for the third segment jason i want to make this last forever okay so okay uh is there anything you want to add jason uh i was just doing a little bit of commercial for my my sponsors no no uh if you want to go to my website www.jasonstevenson.net yes that's and I will, good yes Go ahead, keep going. No, that's all. And I'd like to say hi to a few people, Ginny and Tracy and Ellen and um, someone else, Tony. Yes. Little Rosie Sunshine. Yes. Beautiful. And, Jen, and Ginny Sims. Ellen, thank you. Janet. And uh, we have Tracy. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the love that we're getting, Jason. We could just be reading all these names the whole entire time and, and, yes, <laughs> and the show will be over. Okay, so when we go back... <laughs> I do have to talk about my sponsors, my on the air sponsors, and then I will um, reintroduce you again. So, so for those of you who are sharing the love, so grateful. I'm looking forward to sitting down and looking at every single one of your messages and replying. Okay, here we go. I know we're going to be muted in a little second, but it's time to dance, everybody. Third segment.
You can text Lillian McDermott or leave her a voicemail at 407-373-5959. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow with one another. We are heard worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. You can also watch us on Facebook Live, which we are on Facebook Live right now as we're doing a pre-recorded for a show and we will re-air this on my channel as, as well. So I'm really excited that Jason Stevenson is our teacher today. And we're talking about the I am, the good, the bad, the ugly. Because we want to just present the I am of what we think people want us to be or what we want, what, what we perceive us to be, whether it's real or not. And so when we embrace the total I am, that's where the magic happens because we can tailor and move and and this is where we have this conversation of 100 percent responsibility where we take responsibility for our life and who we are and the life that we are co-creating with the creator who created us who gave us the power to create a lot of creation there and so i want to encourage you to go to when you need a friend.com please subscribe when you do so and while you're there play with all the little social media buttons and Check on all the little uh, YouTube videos. Subscribe there too. When you subscribe to my face, my uh, when you need a friend.com, you will also get my 90 day challenge to self love ebook and free gifts all the time. You'll know who's going to be on the show before anybody else does. And then go ahead and follow me and like me at uh, Facebook at Lillian's Radio Show and, and uh, Instagram. And I'm on all social media. I think I am on most social media. And then while you're there, I ask that you check out my sponsors. Without my sponsors, Liberty HealthShare is my sponsor that you get to hear while uh, we're on, on uh, commercial breaks. And um, Liberty HealthShare is just unbelievable. Go to libertyhealthshare.org. I've walked away from insurance and I decided to walk towards um, health share. And now I have control of where I go and I have informed choices too. So with that in mind, you can also, if you don't like social media and if you don't like um, going on Instagram or any YouTube and all those shows will be sent to you when you do become a subscriber. You can go to podcasts because I'm also on podcasts, just about every podcast that you can imagine. So we're, here together to grow. And while you're there, I want to encourage you to go to the 100% responsibility page. This is where we take 100% ownership of who we are. And I, I, am, I am so grateful when Jason is on the show. This is the first time that we've done Facebook Live with Jason. We usually are like in a little private room doing our little recording, but now the whole world is with us, literally the whole world, and they're sending us so much love. Okay, so now, Jason, Let's talk about this I am. What is the affirmation that you say to yourself every morning before your feet touch the ground? My one is, is I am living here in vitality. And it can change sometimes. I can choose other ones, but it's a, and, and now I'm just beginning to say the words I am. Because even that alone begins to put me in a place of, of um, being a co-creator and being how powerful we are, that we can choose in any given moment to be anything we desire to be, anything we want to be. And so when I just say that I am, and especially you, if you say that when you're outside, you, know, you just say, I am, and feel it. Feel the power because that's, the, that's God force. That's God force just running through your veins. And that, when, you, when I feel that, um, I know that anything is possible and it eliminates all, uh, any other negative, negativity and self-doubt. And, and uh, you know, because they're, they're going to come up and so with, you know, uncomf being uncomfortable in new situations, it's going to come up. Yeah. That's a part of, that is a part of life. But if we can, you know, ch consciously choose to say, I am living here in vitality. I am courageous. And your mind begins to change. Okay. So we, we did a show on this is being, um, 
focused and, and doing meditation and, and being all that when things are not what mm -hmm. we want them to be. Mm -hmm. So can you share one or two tips of how to go from I am not enough to I am enough? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you do that mm -hmm. can help someone that is needing to take that first step of courage towards mm -hmm. the I am enough? Mm -hmm. My friends, we have to take time out to consciously uh, choose to change our life. And if we don't take that time out, uh, then we will continue on whatever path we're on. And, uh, you know, and I, I know Joe, Joe Dispenza is a big uh, facilitator of this, of creating that visualization process in the morning times or night times for many people. But morning times is even, I think it's a little bit more powerful of, of mm -hmm. late I've been doing it. And um, in the morning? Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, because you know, I told you what the, the you know, you talked about the lotus pose, and and I shared with you the lily poses when I go yeah. fall asleep. Yes. <laughs> I go, I am sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so the morning, so, I'm a morning girl. So you're going to morning boy too. Yeah, yeah, but but nighttime as well. I love to go to sleep with the, you know, just to be clear and begin to empty, 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 and and sleep at peace. But here's the thing, you know, to speak these affirmations, to use this, you can use this thing, I am that I am, and replace that word that with the vision that you want to be, to become, or that you already are secretly, and you just haven't uh, matched that vibrational level yet. Mm -hmm. Re replace that, breathe in, I am that, and Mentally repeat, I am. Let it go on the breath out. So you're receiving from God force. You're giving back to God force. And you're, you're, be, you're becoming one with it. And not only that, Lily, is it's so important to feel it. Mm. To feel it with every fiber of your being as though it is already manifested. It has already taken place in your life. And once you do this and you get those feelings, I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before it happens. And we've got to trust that universal time. We can't do this overnight and say, well, that didn't work. That's not, you know, this is 20 years of 30 years of subconscious programming that we have to overcome. But the powerful thing is we can do it. We can do it with the, the affirmations. We can do it with the feeling and intensifying that feeling, mm -hmm. magnifying it magnify it, raising it up and up until you actually feel you can feel chemistry body changes within you you know you just like you're buzzing yes you just want to jump for joy um, yeah. this morning as i you know i do my meditation i do a morning meditation i spend time with jason you know a lot of girls and spend a lot of time at night with jason i spend a lot of mornings with jason and um and so i i remember this morning um i was just Focusing on abundance. And so I'm a big acronyms kind of girl. And so I, I sat there and I started writing this abundance. And, you know, part of abundance and is that we don't acknowledge what we have. And so we continue living in lack even when there is abundance. And so... Mm -hmm. With that in mind, Jason, how can we look at, you know, devastation and say, I am in abundance. Through this devastation, I am still abundance. I am that I am. Mm -hmm. What would be a tip for you to That's say? That's a good question. I mean, and what we've got to remember is that we can't change an event that's unfolded in our life. Yes. So the events are going to happen as they are, as they will unfold. But as, as you said, it's taking that 100% responsibility. It's how we react to that event or respond rather than react. Mm -hmm. So to take a few breaths in, if you're going through that rough time, it's always about, I think, tuning in to the moment now, taking a few step back, stopping and breathing and when we, when we begin to just tune into this present moment, it is pretty amazing how the thoughts of negativity and everything that's been going on all of a sudden 
just even if for that moment they're not there, they just crumble away. Um, and this has to go on. Like we, we can't, it's not something that's going to happen in an instant, you know, again. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but it, respond, begin to respond. And we can respond by taking a step back and breathing, grounding ourselves, connecting to our breath. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so with that in mind, breathing is something we have to do, we get to do on a continuous basis. No one ever says, I'm done breathing. We have to breathe. But what breath are we going to take? It's a choice, right? Is That's what I'm hearing you say. It is a choice of what kind of breath. You can breathe in goodness, but breathe out whatever that stressful is, right? That stress can just guess. But, you know, we are talking to Jason Stevenson. You can find him at Life Extension YouTube. You can find him at jasonstevenson.net. And I want to hear from you. For those of you who are listening today and watching us, I want to hear what is your I am. I want to hear I am 407-373-5959. 407-373-5959. You can call, you can text, you can put it on the comments. I am. I am right here waiting for you. And we'll be right back with Richard Stevenson. Look at you, Jason. I'll be right here, right here waiting for you. Adoring fans. Annabella, I am, I am straight i am danielle i am straight i am no is it straight or strength strength i think that says yeah and ali o'shea has the same affirmation as you i am healthy i am wealthy i am wise i am love yes i am i want to hear some more i ams what were your i ams so ali was on a call with tony (laughs) no i am happy they are they are just loving on themselves too and And says i am back and i'm ready for bed (laughs) (laughs) i'm missing all of these okay so i am loving i am loving all of this and so you know we've talked about this jason the taking 100 percent responsibility and i want to encourage people to go to um and my friends viewer friends to go to um when you need a friend.com, I have a 100% responsibility page. And there are four questions that you can answer um, that has to do with no blame, no shame, no fault, no duty that takes you from the victim mind all the way to that empowerment, responsible, accountable mindset where you're ready to accept the I am, right? Mm-hmm. And by the way, Uh, For those of you who stick around after the show, Jason's going to do an I am meditation just for us. At least that's what we agreed on uh, last last year. (laughs) Oh, I better better get writing. (laughs) Oh, no, you're going to do it from your heart. I am pure soul love. I love that. I am creative. I am am moving forward. I love that. Maxine, I am creative. I am pure love. Okay, I'm going backwards. Now I need to go here. I'm not getting those here, Jason. Oh, they're coming up. They're rolling up for me they're now. Rolling um, up. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Maybe I've got to go the opposite way. Mm. Let me see. Wow, I'm scrolling down. Let me see. I am moving. Oh, here they are. I am creative. I am moving forward. I am pure mm. soul love. I am loving all you. Ah, that's so sweet. I am joyous. I am energized. I am loving. I am wealthy. I love that, Megan. Thank you so much. All those hearts. Yes, look at that. We are just being loved. I am a huge fan. I am a huge fan of Jason, says um, Annabella. And uh, I am beautiful. Sharon, I love that. Yes, you are. You are all these things. I am happy, healthy, and wealthy. I love that. And so now I get to see these. I am abundance. I am energy. I am love. I am courage. Hey, Jason, you can do your meditation just from reading this outside. You know, it's like, absolutely. You've got your script right there. What can I say? (laughs) Paul says, I am funny. And he's a funny guy too, I might add. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. Okay. So uh, for those of you who are 
watching today and you haven't shared, I want to see where you're from because this show is worldwide. And so I want to put my thumbprint all over the world. And Jason, I share the same vision. I see myself traveling the world and sharing this message of hope that we are. Because if you think about the creator who created us is everywhere, is in everything. And if that is true, which we believe is true in hope mm -hmm. and in faith, mm. then if I have the creator in me and I just have a spark of the creator, I can do all things. Absolutely. And you are all things already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love because, that. Yeah. Yeah. I am all things already. So here's my, I'm going to share my to all of you, my viewing friends. Um, when I went through my transformation, because I had a lot of unworthiness talk in my head. Uh, I shared this this morning with Lisa Lampanelli that um, when I was seven years old, my seven, my, when I was seven years old, my second grade teacher told me that I would never amount to much. And then my, uh, t when I was 10, my paternal grandmother said that if I stopped learning how to play the piano, that she would stop loving me. Well, I stopped learning how to play the piano. And so I made up about myself. I made up about myself that I was unworthy. I was unlovable and that I would never mount to much. So I was this, you know, mm -hmm. never mount to much, unlovable, who's going to love me type of person until I was able to look at that. They, I know they were trying to motivate me and that's how I looked at it, but it recorded within me. And that's what drove me, the fear within me. That's what I was saying, the shadow side of what we're afraid to look at. On the outside, I was very successful, but on the inside, mm. I wasn't enough. Mm. So mm. how many of you can share with that Look at this. Annabelle is from Portugal. We're doing from Ireland. I love all your followers. Thank you so much, Jason, for sharing them with me. Okay. So with that in mind, we're about to start our last segment. And then after our last segment, you're going to lead us into an I am meditation just with Jason's voice. And you get to play this over and over again when you go to bed tonight. You'll be sleeping with a lot of people tonight, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know they're going to mute our mics in a second, but it's time to dance. You can text Lillian McDermott or leave her a voicemail at 407-373-5959. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where I'm just loving our time with Jason Stevenson. You can find Jason at jasonstevenson.net. He has over a million followers. So if you want to, apparently everybody falls asleep with Jason Stevenson. So if you want to go to the YouTube channel, he has his meditation. So it's Jason Stevenson Meditations. You can go to Life Expansion. So Life Expansion is a new YouTube channel that he has that we are going to be, he's going to be interviewing. He's going to be sharing his thoughts. And so I'm sure that in no time, that's going to have over a million followers, Jason. If I have anything to do with it, I'll be one of those, right? I'm, we're, I'm already one of those. So uh, I'll help you get to 1 million and we'll help each other out. This is our time. This is our time. And so this is the moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. I love it. And um, so let's talk about, because we're talking about the I am. And off the air, uh, I was sharing about the, the I am we don't want to look at. Mm -hmm. And we want to project this I am. But deep down inside, we're so full of fear mm -hmm. that that voice in our head is going to override our intention. So because we're unaware of sabotage, you know, we, our mind and our body remembers, our bodies remember what our mind wants to forget. And so with that in mind, um, let's talk about your I am meditation. I, I can't remember who said it, but I read on uh, the, my Facebook live show at Lillian's radio show that someone did it for 21 days straight and they're feeling wonderful. So let's talk about the intention of the I am meditation. Wow. That's so, that's so lovely to hear that, you know, yes. because 
I do that. I put that intention out there whilst I'm recording. I'm doing that word for word. I'm putting, I, I do my best to, to have God, if you like, or whatever name you choose to call it, but coming through me mm-hmm. and sending that love, probably love is, is a better word. And so word by word. So when you say that, that someone actually does get something from it, it's just a reminder for me that um, I'm contributing and I'm on the right track. And yeah, so that, that meditation was a lot of that was basically just affirmation, grouped affirmations, um, mm-hmm. which I'm probably going to do a little bit of that off, off air. Yes. Um, yeah. So for those of you who are listening right now, um, for, after the show, Jason's going to do a private, like maybe one, two minute meditation while, while people are driving and listening on the radio, you can't close your eyes. So no, we don't, don't do advise that to that. No, no. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> so keep going, Jason. Yeah. And I mean, the reason why I do a lot of this, Lily, is because I've experienced, you know, these dark times and, you, you know, you, you spoke about the, the dark side about appearing that everything is fine, mm-hmm. but inside we're aching of not feeling worthy enough and not enough. Mm-hmm. And even through my singing, when I was sing, doing, having my singing career and entering competitions and even winning competition after competition, grand final after grand final, I was chasing something that I could never get from the competitions from, from winning because it was all the internal stuff. It was all the internal work, the unworthiness that I felt. And so that took work of a different kind. And no matter how much I continued to sing and to hear the applause, it was still something inside that was missing this, this deep self love and gratitude of all that I have and where I'm at right now. And that's when we, when we can acknowledge that that is when we can begin to move forward. And so my idea in doing these, I am meditations and affirmations is that literally can transform the subconscious mind. You know, we can begin to be aware to feel them and to snap, to release that those pre-recorded tapes that have been going on for, such a long time. Yeah, rewrite the tape. Re- rewrite. rewrite it. You know, rewrite. there. I, I I used to have a um, a painting that I just didn't like. This is when I was younger, and I remember it didn't look well until I changed the frame. And when I changed the frame, the picture looked so much better. Mm. It was the framing that I did not like. It wasn't the picture. And sometimes we blame the picture for what's happening. But we if we reframe it. Just like in our, in our uh, I'm not enough conversation that we are unwilling to go back and say, why am I not enough? I am enough. What was it for you, Jason? Was it getting the HIV diagnosis? Where, where, at what moment in your life was it planted that you weren't enough, that, you, that it, mm-hmm. the applause wasn't enough? That what, mm-hmm. When it, was it that time? Mm-hmm that it happened to you uh, right early on in the years I struggled I remember struggling with mathematics at school uh, and and I was I could never pick it up and I even had private coaching and everything and I just couldn't pick it up that mm-hmm. side of my brain just wasn't working so well and but my teacher that I had at the time picked on me because of that year and I had him for two years in a row and uh, that he, he said to me just before I went on to high school, he said, um, we're letting Jason go on. However, we don't give him much hope at all. And he said that to both myself and my parents. And that just stuck in my mind of feeling um, absolutely useless, you know, uh, not good enough. We'll never get over this. I'm hopeless. I'm below standard. I'm below other people. And um, that's what you made up about yourself. Yeah. And that's that what I made you up. carried, you carried it because that wasn't true. We no. make this stuff up. It's not real. Mm-hmm. And so as, as we go forward in life, we carry that because that's part of our subconscious mind. Those are the thoughts, the 70,000 thoughts that we have that we don't even know are running through. And so mm-hmm. in doing these, I am affirmations, now we can reframe and rewrite. So, mm-hmm would it be good for us to sit down and 
take those voices in our head and write it down like I am dumb or I can't do math. So therefore I am whatever you want to add to it. Write all these negative things on one end and write the opposite that is a positive affirmation and maybe create our own affirmation for ourselves. What would you say about that? That's a possibility to do that. Uh, and then I would be burning the paper with the, after writing the negative. However, yes. what I would even say mm -hmm. is not even acknowledging those negative programming um, or sorry, becoming aware of them yes. as we go on in life. Um, but, and then that is all not even, I wouldn't even be writing them down, Lily. Okay. Um, I, I would simply be, if you, if it comes up for you, whatever time it comes up for you, just go that that voice cancel cancel replace it in the instant that you hear yourself saying that or you th you know your thoughts that are going on even just those words cancel cancel i am worthy i am enough and you can continue to do that time and time again and so it's a great way to replace and uh i love that i love that you know everybody has a, a different way a different style, a different thought process. And I want to encourage all of you to figure out how you can capture, to just mm -hmm. become aware, like you said, Jason, just become aware that these thoughts are sabotaging. And, you know, you, I used to coach somebody and that was, became our saying, I am this close. I am this close. And that was his mantra. He didn't even realize that that was his mantra. And so mm. then I asked them the question, why are you this close every time? What are you afraid of if you achieve that, if you get this close, if you make it? Because mm. we, we're sometimes afraid to be successful too. Oh, but yeah. This close yeah. became yeah. The, the mantra that he would say to himself, and that was enough. Mm, and I mm. said, how would it feel like if you actually completed it? He was there, there in the moment. I am there. I am there. Yeah. I am here mm. in vitality. Yeah. Yes. I love that, Jason. I love that. You know, I knew this conversation was going to be great. And I am so grateful to you, Jason, for sharing your wisdom. And I'm for those of you who are listening, you go later, you go to go to at Lillian's Radio Show so we can get this affirmation. And Jason, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you very much, Lillian. Appreciate it. Always lovely. Always lovely. Back at you. And for you, my listening friend, my viewing friends, please remember, I'll be right here waiting for you worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. ever. Yes, that was a good ever. The opinions and advice expressed on the Lillian McDermott radio show are intended for the individual callers and guests on the program and are presented to our wider audience solely for general educational purposes. Please act responsibly and consult personally with your own medical, psychological, or nutritional expert before taking any steps to improve your life. Now an affirmation from Jason Stevenson. Thank you so much for all your fans for coming on today and sharing your Thank wisdom. You. I hope. Thank you, everyone. Been, yes, I hope this has been uh, enlightening. So, Jason, put us in the mood as we affirm and start our start our process, our twenty one days of affirmation. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, I'm going to be winging this, but let's uh, let's I get into a, a comfortable place to begin with, and this is not going to be too long. Mm -mm. Uh, but it's going to be powerful. Yes. That's, yes. that's my intention. I okay. am powerful. I am powerful. Okay. So what we're going to do is get into a comfortable position and uh, begin to close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And let's begin by taking in three deep breaths and sending that breath all the way down to that belly diaphragm area. And begin to feel that diaphragm area expand on the breath in and contract on the breath out. Really feel the sensations.
and returning this breath back to a comfortable rhythm for you. Just being a witness to your breath, not changing anything, just being a witness to the breath. Feeling your feet on the ground. Feeling where your thighs and your buttocks meet the chair that you're sitting on. And feeling your hands in your lap. Become totally present in this moment. And this is the truth, my friends. This is the only moment there is, is here and now. And I'm going to be speaking some affirmations for you. And what I'd like you to do is to mentally repeat these affirmations to yourself. And not only the words, but I want you to really feel, really feel with every fiber of your being those affirmations. I am confidence. I am joy. I am perfection. And just mentally repeat that. I am confidence. I am joy. I am perfection. And repeat that again and see if you can magnify the feelings of that within you magnify the feelings now up it to five times the feeling if you don't feel confident act it feel it be it know it i am enough i am fulfilled and I am grateful. I am enough. I am fulfilled. And I am grateful. And magnify that. Magnify those feelings, that intention. I am enough. I am fulfilled. I am grateful. And now what I'd like you to do is we're going to be repeating this phrase, this mantra, I am that I am to ourselves. But when the word, when the word that comes up, what I'd like you to do is replace that word that with the vision of who you want to be or what you want to draw or manifest into your life. So for instance, if it's, um, if it's a, you want to have a better relationship, I want you to see that relationship. I am that I am. So just repeat that now with something that you want to have manifested in your life. I am that I am. And we can work our breath in with this now. Breathing in, I am that. Breathing out, I am releasing it. Breathing it in, drawing it into you. I am that. Releasing it out to source energy. I am. Just be with this just for a moment. And really sharpen that visualization. Really see it and really feel it with every cell in your body. What's the picture look like? How does it feel to have that now? 
what is exactly going on in this moment. And know, my friends, that you have that. That is already a part of you. And that is going to unfold in divine timing, perfect timing. If you just keep bringing that to you, bringing that to you, bringing it in, releasing it with love and gratitude, bringing it in, release with love and gratitude. Let's just end this off now. We take three deep breaths in. Coming back to this room where we're presently seated. Let it go. And know that you can do this at any time any time, the day or night. And the more you do this, you're beginning to co-create the life of your dreams. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Jason Stevenson. I absolutely adore you from the moment you said hello. <laughs> and um, and I, one of the things that we talked about, you know, is the world says, fake it till you make it. And mm. I say, think it till you feel it and then mm. do it. Think it till you feel it and then do it. We, it. Ha we have the power. The power is within us. We've given up our power. And I want to encourage all of you to go to the responsibility page and take our power back. Take our ownership back. And Jason, I love what you're doing to help us, empower us, to feel safe to take our power back. And thanks for sharing the story of you know the teacher that made fun of you because we all have teachers like that i certainly did mm. and we believe their lies but here's the thing that we've got to be able to translate is that we've got to translate that what people see in you is who they are mm -hmm. so if you have someone that's very critical then maybe they are so critical on themselves that they just need to pass it on to you don't mm. accept it. Just don't accept mm. it. What do you mm. say about that? What would, would you well, like to say the final word? Oh, absolutely. Just uh, like a mirror image. We're a mirror image of each other and what we mm -hmm. see in others is exactly uh, what, what needs to be possibly looked at, especially if it's, you know, if it's something negative or, or if we see the positive in another person, that's the part of us that's giving and, and loving. And, that's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. We've got to translate those lies because they are lies and we need to substitute. So I had shared that I was going to um, share my, my, uh, this is my affirmation that came from my transformation is I am a loving, creative, intuitive, trusting leader. And to that, the people say, yes, you are. So I am, wow. I am, I am that and more. And what we don't know is how powerful we truly are. And so if we take anything from this, not only the beautiful words of Jason, but if we can just walk away from this show today, knowing that whatever we desire, we will create. Mm. Think it till you feel it and then do it. Mm. Thank you, Jason Stevenson, for all that you are and everything that you are doing. Oh, that I wanted yeah. to say, if they have not gone to jasonstevenson.net, um, if you subscribe to his uh, his website, you will get an ebook. It's called The Seven Pathways to Happiness. You're so generous. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> Very good. And I'm looking forward to our next conversation. And mm. so, anything that you would like to add before we go, I'll let you have the last uh, one. I'd just like to say thank you, every Thank you, Lillian, for your time. Thank and you. thank you to everyone here that showed up too on uh, on Facebook and YouTube or yeah, that's where they'll be, isn't it? YouTube and Facebook possibly. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much because I've seen the love. I've seen all the hearts come up. Oh my now. gosh. I, I don't think I've seen this. Much. It's like Valentine's day today. <laughs> I haven't seen this much hearts in a long time. So keep the hearts coming. 
Keep the conversations coming. Please, if you like this video, uh, if you like this broadcast, share it. Give people their power by letting them know that it's always within them. Share it, like it, follow us, you know, go to our sponsors. And Jason, you, I know you have um, people that support you as well uh, with your shows and everything that you're doing. We are not alone. We are one. And so we help each other through this so that we can all prosper together. There's enough abundance for all of us, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I hate to say, I hate to say I'm going to finish the broadcast, but thank you so much. And again, like us, share us and continue to follow us. Love you all. I'm going to sit down now and read every single one. I want to say thank you to all of you. And so for now, thank you everyone. Until next month, because Jason's going to join us, Meditation Mondays, even though today is not a Monday, but we're recording this because Jason can't wake up at one o'clock in the morning to be <laughs> on the show live. So thank you. Say goodbye, Jason. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Much love. And now I'm going to stop the recording here. So thank you for those of you on YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Like us, share us, and follow thank us you. as well. Okay, so let me thank stop you, the recording. YouTube.